Hi guys, welcome to this fourth part of Angular 16 tutorial series. In the previous part, I talked about different kinds of bindings, attribute binding, styles binding, class bindings, uh, and this event binding actually, okay? So in this video, I wanna talk about some two-way binding and also some built-in directives. You can call it attribute directives. So let's first talk about the two-way data binding, how it works, what is the purpose of it. So two-way data binding means that whenever we create any variable from a component like this one or this one, its value is going to be shown in the HTML. And the two-way data binding means that whenever that value gets changed from this HTML, it, the change value gets updated back to this component as well. Okay, so for that purpose, let's go ahead and come here and I'm going to create uh, one variable input text string and uh, I'm going to give it initial value to it. All right, uh, let's go ahead in our HTML and let's bind it over here below this and uh, I'm going to add it p tag you entered input text and this is the variable name which I have created in my component uh, make sure you add the two curly braces on that all right so now you can see that its value is visible the initial value so it's one way data binding how to make it two way data binding so when we change it from here so let's uh, add an input type over here mainly the text box and in that text box I will also be binding the value of this variable so whenever I'll try to change the value of the text box uh, it should get updated over here as well so only way it gets updated over here as well when this variable is going to get changed back from the that HTML okay so now I'm gonna go and uh, create an input and for that two-way data binding I'm gonna be using a built-in attribute directive I'll first write the square brackets then I will write the parentheses and in this one I will write the ng model okay and then after this I'm going to write um, actually the input text which is the name of that variable all right uh, and after that let's add any placeholder if you want to add like the enter text okay and after that if I save it and if I run and it's going to throw an error so the error is can't bind the ng model says it's not a known property of input so we need to go to the app.module.ts file and inside it we need to actually import the forms module the reason that by default it is not actually importing that because um, when we build our project so the build size does not increase um, we only need to import the required packages required modules which are required in our application okay so in our module I'm going to write import I'm going to write the forms module from angular slash forms okay and I'm just going to copy it and add it in my imports array like this all right if I save it now you can see that error is gone let me close it and this value is visible in my text box as well as over here now this value is coming from the component which is one way binding this value is coming from the component let's try to change it back to that component from our HTML file if I hit space and write any uh, and remove it you can see that uh, its value is getting updated in below text as well it means that this form is actually changing the value back to the component as well that's why the below value is uh, being changed in our text box below the paragraph actually so this is called two-way data binding and it is quite useful in various situations um, now we have talked about this ng model directive which is the attribute directive there are a couple of more directives along with the ng model basically the attribute directives uh, one is the ng class uh, just like the ng model and the third one is the ng style all right so let's come back to our component and in this component i'm gonna be creating few variables so let's first try to learn what is the ng class so i'm going to write the ng class comment over here and first of all let's create a new variable this is a danger 
dangerous message uh, the reason I'm adding this string because I'll be applying this red color class to it so now we can have another variable and uh, I can give the danger class to it and then the text size class to it or anything else so these are not just strings these are referring to the classes which I will be creating in my app.component.scss file okay so using the ng class directive we can actually apply one or multiple classes which is existing in the scope of that component mainly from the global styles file or that inter uh, local styles file and it will be applied in our HTML elements okay so here we will be actually um, going to HTML file and I'm going to create few elements so I can actually write these square brackets and I can write the ng class directive okay and then I can give it the classes variable which I've created over here the classes and it will not do anything because these classes does not exist yet in our SCSS file and after this I can simply add different message inside it uh, through one way binding left from here all right let's save it and let's save it as well and here you can see that this is a dangerous message um, but uh, let me go ahead in my app.component.scss file and in this file I'm gonna be creating uh, that classes so first of all we have the class name danger and uh, we need to change it background color let's say uh, light red does it have light blue okay and then I'm going to change its color to let's say red all right let's save it and now you can see that this has been applied to it uh, this is only one class so it's not actually required to uh, add all the classes so any class which is available will be applied to that and we can have the further classes like the text size which I've created in my component so I can write the text size so font size equals to 40 pixels so it will be increased and here you can see that its font size increased uh, so this is how we can actually use the ng class directive to apply multiple classes using the variables and the benefit of is that uh, we can have some conditions in our um, uh, HTML if we want if we want to apply those classes or not uh, which I will be showing you uh, in the upcoming videos when I'll be building small projects okay now let's talk about the final built-in attribute directive which is called the ng styles so I will come back to my component and I will be creating a few variable mainly the one variable so ng style is the directive name and I can give it the selected color colon string and let's give it the red okay let's save it let's come back to our HTML and inside it I'm gonna be creating a new div so div and I can add different class to it so I can have a color box so this is just a random class that uh, I can actually create uh, it does not uh, belongs to ng uh, style directive currently uh, so the benefit of ng style directive is that we can apply the classes uh, 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 along with the external classes as well so let me show you what do I mean by that if I have this class which I have named it color box so I can write the color box class over here and uh, I can actually add different styles to it so let's say the 100 pixels and height is the 100 pixels all right so this is the class I have applied to it and let me go ahead and save it and uh, currently uh, it's not showing over here if I uh, go ahead and add something the box to it all right so this text is visible but this color box uh, is not getting applied uh, let me give the background color to it uh, let's go to the component and we have this selected color and I'm gonna give the background color to it as well so background color um, is gonna be uh, let's say 
pink let's save it now you can see the box it was earlier visible as well but it was of color white okay so currently this class is applied this is what we expected but we have this variable here as well with the value red over here so along with this class if we have further classes or the names we can apply directly over here without actually removing this class property from here okay this is the benefit of ng class so i will be coming uh, here and i will be using the ng style directive using the square bracket so i'll be writing the ng style okay equals to and here i will be simply writing uh, let's say this one and uh, i can apply this to color or any other css property i need to actually write it within single quotes because the external string is in within the double quotes okay then column and then i can actually write the selected color variable name which i have added in my typescript file if i save it you can see that this color have been applied uh, to that text and we can have the any number of classes to it and without affecting this class actually so let me uh, actually add the background color directly here so background color hash color if i save it uh, you will see the error here uh, the property background does not exist uh, we need to actually write the single quotes here now let's save it all right now you can see that this has been applied to it this is called the overriding the property it means that we have not actually changed or update this classes this is coming from an external file this is the inline css so that's why it has been overridden and it has ignored the background color property coming from this particular class all right so we have talked about ng model used for the two-way data binding uh, the ng class ng style and these three are called the built-in angular attribute directives all right and uh, obviously when we will be building projects we will be using it in the real world applications and if you have liked my videos and so far uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and the bell icon is very important to get the notification for upcoming videos and thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next videos